Hi, welcome to this week's video. I'm not going to talk too much this week because I've been sick and it's been a short week. Um, and that's why we have Andrew sitting here right from the beginning rather than bringing him in a little bit later. So welcome, Andrew. It's great to have you on board. Thank you, Steve. Pleasure to be here. Looking forward to it taking part today. Great, great. So you're you're down in the dungeon somewhere. So just tell us where IT is located now. Yep. So um, we're all based down in what we call the dungeon. So we're sort of locked away down there under, underground and uh, working on some good new innovations at the moment. So yeah, really, uh, really good team and uh, really enjoying it down there at the moment. Right. And you guys come up for some light occasionally and talk to the other people in the building. Is that what happens? Yeah, we, we certainly like to come up for light and uh, any excuse that we have to come up and see everyone, we, we love doing that. So um, yeah, no, certainly get out, get out every now and then. Right. And uh, I mean, one of the goals I understand, particularly for your work, is to sort of get some connections happening across the building. Do you want to just tell us a little bit about the work you're doing there? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so my role is collaboration software specialist. So I'm working with um, technologies that will help um, researchers work together. Um, at the moment, we've certainly doing a lot of good work with Wardley Peringa. So they're the main group that are that are using the systems. Uh, some 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 in mind and brain as well. Um, so. So yeah, try, trying to get uh, researchers to put their content up online, and then uh, hopefully have some build some connections between researchers and working together. And also, Yammer is the other tool that we work quite closely with as well. So, are people using Yammer a lot? Uh, how's that going? Yeah, so it's it's certainly increasing. We're able to track the number of en engagements each month. So more than half of the institutes actually going in there and touching something in Yammer each month. So they're clicking on a link. They're liking something, they're posting something, they're expanding something each, each month. So we can't track how many people actually read the post, but certainly people are engaging with, with, the, with the system. So um, it tends to be used more by, um, information goes up there more from the administrative side of uh, the, the, the business, so the institute. So um, on level eight, a lot of people are using it to put information up there. We would like to see more researchers using it to um, solve some problems that maybe within their own team they can't solve and, and uh, putting those problems up there as well. So what, what, what would you like um, everyone in the building to do more of in terms of Yammer and Link and all that sort of stuff? Yep, so I, I guess the, the biggest thing for me would be is if they have a, with Yammer in particular, if they have a problem that they um, maybe need a expert from another theme or another team to help with, um, put that up on Yammer and uh, maybe pose that question to the wider institute and build uh, links and collaborative, collaborative opportunities through that tool. So um, I've used it a few times to post up some questions um, with help that I've needed and then end up actually meeting that person offline in the coffee, in the cafe area and uh, talking about some of the problems that we're having that we tried to, that we needed to solve as well. Right. And if any of the research groups or themes want you to come and talk to them about collaboration opportunities, what they can put on Link or uh, or Yammer, etc. Are you happy just to go and talk to anyone? Absolutely, yeah. So we have uh, engagement groups. So I engage with um, teams regularly. So they can either do it as a once off, come along to their team meeting and engage with the group, or we can engage on a more regular basis. So. Uh, Meet, meet with the individual weekly, and then uh, as they become more confident, um, uh, build that up and, and across the rest of the team and meet fortnightly, then monthly, and, and build that up as, as we go on. Fantastic. So previously, we talked about a bit of technology, which was a microphone that we could throw around the auditorium from person to person, you know, getting people's eye-hand coordination working as well as getting some questions asked. Um, I understand Paul's ordered that, is that right? Yes, I believe he has. It's uh, it's coming soon, so I, I can't wait to see that. That's, uh, that's exciting to, to see. That'll be quite an entertaining uh, um, venture, I think. Right. And talking about throwing and catching, I understand you're a bit of a basketball, um, interested in basketball, and particularly in American basketball. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, I actually coach uh, kids basketball or elite athletes uh, here in Adelaide, Australia, and. Uh, and, and also follow the NBA quite heavily as well. And uh, it's uh, the playoffs at the moment in America. So um, so I think today is, is uh, game game six of the playoffs. And um, you know, we're sort of uh, hoping Cleveland win the game because they've got an Aussie playing for them today. So um, yeah, so that's pretty exciting. I understand he's a bit of a rough, bit of a rough player, plays with a bit of passion. Um, does the Australian in the in Cleveland? Yeah, no, absolutely. Uh, so Della Vadova is, is an Aussie guy and uh, is certainly uh, holding the Australian banner up with pride in terms of the style of play that we, we have, which is a very rough, aggressive, hard-working um, style of play, definitely. Right, right. All right, well, thanks, Andrew. That, that's been terrific. 
Um, obviously, this weekend there's less football because of the bye, but um, Port's playing Fremantle, and that's a really important game. And actually, I think a pretty tough game for Port, actually. So they they should win, but um, but it's going to be difficult. And and then there's Euro, um, the soccer in, in Europe going on at the moment. Some fantastic soccer being played, unfortunately being marred by a bit of the violence by the spectators. But if you put that aside, um, look at some of the soccer and the talent there is extraordinary. So that's all for this week. Um, looking forward to a healthier week next week and, uh, and chat to you next Friday. Thanks a lot.